What's up, plant people? I am so excited to film today's video. I am filming a houseplant tour and I know I recently did one in Colorado, but I have moved twice since then. Um, and so I want to show you all of my plants set up in this house. We moved here a couple days ago and I literally just put up all of the decorations, all the plants within like a day and a half because I wanted my house to just feel like home. But I am really excited to show you all of my plants. A majority of them you have seen. There's a couple of them that maybe you haven't, but there's built-in shelves in the walls and I have macrame hanging up and stuff. So I'm just really excited to show you guys what it all looks like. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and get into the tour. All right, so this is the door that you walk in to the living room. And over here is where we have a few plants. There's nothing in this pot up here, but I have a purple oxalis that my cats chewed on, so it's not looking too well. And then a string of turtles. Then we zoom over to here and up hanging on the wall, I have a golden pothos in my macrame and it's doing pretty good. And then my Scandapsis pictus exotica right next to it. Now we are going to walk into the computer room slash work room. And we have Astrid over here, but by this window, I have, um, I forget what this is called. It's not a string of hearts, but it's like in the same family as it. And it's blooming like crazy. I counted earlier and I counted over 40 blooms. So it is loving life right now. And then over here on my shirt pants hanger thing that I turned into a plant holder plant stand. Um, starting from the left, I have a wide leaf Monstera ad insaniae and it is loving life as well. It's been producing lots of new leaves. Then I have a pink Syngonium. And then this is a Pothos Enjoy. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called, but if not, I'll insert the name. And then right here, I have a Black Knight Philodendron that is doing awesome. Down below, we have a Sensitive Plant. And I'm gonna just leave him alone because they don't like to be touched. Then I have my Aden Sanyai. And unfortunately, I went too long without watering my plants because I was just moving and things got really crazy and hectic and a lot of the leaves ended up yellowing on a few of my plants but they're doing okay now that they've got watered and then here is my other purple oxalis this one has not been chewed on it's got some pretty blooms and it is just chilling on its macrame so now we're going to head into the bedroom. I also don't have that many plants because this is the only window we have and it's the bedroom. So we're not going to really want to keep it open that often. But up here I have a Christmas cactus that is currently blooming. So exciting. It's a really pretty bloom. And then I've got all my crystals. And then lastly, over here, we have some propagations and these built-in shelves. So starting right here, we have a Raphidophora tetrasperma with a Scandapsis cutting behind it. Um, then I have a Kupari haworthia right here. And then another Scandapsis cutting, Golden Pothos cutting, a cute little orchid that is making a baby. There's the baby. And then down here, I just have another orchid that I've literally had for about two years, probably a little bit over that. This leaf is dead, but I was waiting for it to like suck out all of its nutrients before I took it off. And then over here, I just have four cuttings of Monstera adansoniae, the narrow variety. 
And here is my bathroom, but I do not have any plants in there yet. Next, we're going to come into the kitchen area. And I do not have any plants in here besides this one little hanging satin skindapsis that is very small. And then I have two hanging macrames. So this one is hanging an orchid that had really nice purple blooms a couple months ago, but they have since died off. And then over here, I have a berry syngonium. And this one did not get watered. Like I said earlier, I was kind of bad with watering a lot of my plants. So it's now producing all these little tiny leaves because it did not have enough water. And then over here, I have a little peperomia that took a fall yesterday. And Holly is also, Holly's my dog. She has also destroyed this plant previously, so it has gone through the ringer, but I think it's going to be okay. And then lastly, over here, I have the last built-in shelves, and um, these were a little bit wider, so I was able to fit actual plants on here. So starting from the top, we have a Ripsilis. Then I have like two or three Raptor 4 Tetrasperma cuttings right here. Um, here is a silvery and scandapsis, a uh, Meekins philodendron. This has a fairy castle cactus and some ripsilis in it. This is a mandula pothos. Then I just have some more cuttings, Adansanyai, pothos, pothos, um, Raphidophora. Then down here I have a variegated maranta that did not do too well in the drought that I gave them. So it's trying to bounce back, but it has a lot of dying leaves. Then in here, I have some more Scandapsis cuttings. This is a wide leaf monster at Insaniae cutting. And then here is my original Rapid 4 Tetrasperma that I took all the cuttings from. The reason I had to cut all of the leaves off of my Rapid was because it kept transitioning from inside to outside and there was just lots of moving. So some leaves were small and then some leaves were gigantic and the leaves on top were the like gigantic ones. So it was starting to become lopsided and just wasn't looking good. So I cut them up so that way whenever they get roots, I can just put them all around the side of the pot so it won't be struggling as much. So I hope you guys liked the tour. I am really loving this house so far and I cannot wait to fill it up with even more plants. As I've been literally telling everyone, I want spring of 2021 to just be magical. Magical to me equals plants. If you guys liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to. I do try to post at least once or twice a week and it is mostly all plant related. I do have a couple other fun videos though. Comment down below any questions or concerns, comments that you have and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys!